Bison roamed this land centuries before we ever thought to. That's why there has been a push to restore the bison population here in Phillips County. However, not everyone is in support. On July 28th, the Bureau of Land Management approved the American Prairie Nonprofit's proposal to expand bison grazing on over 63,000 acres. That's the goal of American Prairie, um, to create this large wildlife refuge. We're talking about an area that's approximately 3.2 million acres. What we're seeking to do is to buy private land and then connect that with existing public land to create one contiguous um, space or corridor for wildlife and people. According to bison restoration manager Scott Heidebrink, bison were nearly extinct with less than 20 in the wild and around 1,000 in captive herds around a century ago. Now in North America, there's about 400,000 uh, bison in production herds and about 30,000 bison in conservation herds. American Prairie aims to grow their current bison herd from 800 to over 1,000 by 2025. We reintroduced bison back in 2005 because they're they're a key part of this ecosystem. This These grasslands in north central and northeast Montana evolved with bison on the landscape. To put bison back on the landscape, we can return some of those natural systems and that natural grazing pattern. To While the nonprofit has received praise across Montana and the country, there has been pushback from Montana's ag community along with communities surrounding the BLM land. A lot of the, the, the folks that live in these areas um, is that we truly are concerned that the vision of these conservation groups are to change the very culture of who we are from a productive ag-based community providing food and fiber and sustenance to the world to a um, consumptive economy made up of tourism. Montana's ranching industry is already facing economic impact from a multi-year drought and many working in the industry fear this could add insult to injury. Members of the Central Montana Ag community, including Hoven Equipment Location Manager Anna Morris, say their concern began after American Prairie purchased the historic PN Ranch in Winifred back in 2016. That ranch purchased equipment, it purchased supplies from local feed stores, all kinds of different entities relied on the income coming off of just that ranch. When they purchased that, all of that went away. Anna shares similar concerns with fifth generation rancher and Fergus County resident Leah Latre. You could fairly say that every rancher spends eight to nine hundred dollars a year for every cow that they have on the ground. So if you you know if you do the math on that, how many cows are they displacing? And and that those cow herds pay the community back. She also fears the impact of American Prairie buying land as many ranchers rely heavily on these leased pastures. American Prairie maintains its objective to work alongside these communities and says they have worked closely with property owners bordering their land. Um, we have always had an open door policy and, and we really are seeking to be good neighbors and additive to those local communities. We don't see this as an us versus them. Those who wish to appeal the Bureau of Land Management's decision have until August 27th to do so.